fast, agile, and moderately armed. The Flash Speeder functions as the RSF's primary ground patrol vehicle. Well suited to covering Thieves city streets, the Speeder is assigned to protecting Thieves from all threats. Hello, and uh, welcome to another video on the channel. Um, this will be a short little video, um, just going over the Imperial Flash Speeder mock that uh, I've just made, and the reason why I've made it is because I've decided to commit to making a uh, sort of last stand of Naboo um, mock, and uh, yeah, I've decided that on this one, as opposed to um, the Sand Green Sanctuary, that on this one, I'm going to go ahead and I'll build the entire mock first, um, and then uh, make different videos on different sections of the mock, um, and sort of walk through them. And uh, yeah, I, I hope that that format works out better. Um, but uh, we'll go ahead and just take a look at this one now. Um, so as you can see, I've also got the... Uh, Rebel flash speeder as well as the normal flash speeder um, and uh, yeah so the Imperial flash speeder um, we'll go ahead and we'll move the Rebel uh, flash speeder off to the side um, and we'll just take a look um, purely comparing uh, the two of these uh, and uh, relatively normal one um, with the Imperial one um, and so uh, yeah as you can see um, it's mostly just a straight up color swap um, the big difference between uh, the two of them is that turret right there so let's go ahead and we'll take a closer look so taking a look at uh, this turret here um, I used one of the I believe they're called tank troopers um, from Rogue One uh, as the person manning the turret and the turret actually has full um, 360 degree uh, rotation on it as I try and push it around here um, you can also see that the actual gun has a little bit of turn on its own uh, just to get some better uh, looking angles out of it um, parts wise there's not really too much interesting um, the most interesting part uh, would have to be this crosshair piece um, which that actually came from a Lego Batman movie set and uh, on Bricklink quite a while ago now um, I ordered quite a few of those because I thought they'd look cool in the situations just like this and uh, I think it works out pretty well so taking a look at this side over here um, you can see pretty clearly that I've added in this uh, dark blue stripe. Um, I figured that would be a good way to break up the uh, color to make it so that it's not just a big gray blob. Um, and I think this dark blue stripe, um, I think that works out well for that. Um, I think you could interpret it as like a, a police stripe almost uh, and uh, then taking a look at it versus the original um, you can see there's really not too many differences just real small ones um, but most of the difference is in the color taking a look here at the back um, you can see that uh, the main difference is that I've added this uh, box piece that has the Imperial logo on there. 
Um, I don't know. I just I thought it kind of suited well, um, and uh, it looks at least to me it looks a lot better than the sort of unfinished back of the original. Um, but obviously that's up to uh, everyone. Taking a look at the front here, um, the immediate thing that you might notice is uh, this logo um, on the front there, or symbol. Um, it comes from the Magna Guard Starfighter, and the only uh, dark bluish gray piece that I had of this had it on there. Um, and I don't know, I don't think it takes away from the look too much, uh, though I may, uh, if I come across um, another one of these in dark bluish gray, but without the sticker, um, I may swap that out uh, just for accuracy sake. Um, though I don't think I describe accuracy as the main thing that I'm striving for with this mock. Um, but, uh, yeah, the only part that I'm not super settled with is, uh, the driver there. Um, taking a look at the, uh, the driver, um, you can see he's wearing the, uh, one of the First Order, uh, helmets. Um, uh, one of the weirder looking ones, um, with that large... Uh, back there um, and the reason why I've got him wearing that is because the original Nabu guards have this sort of a hat um, that's got this big flap on the back and I wanted to try and capture something very similar but um, more imperial looking and I think what I've settled on uh, is this uh, First Order cap uh, that also has the uh, the sort of flap in the back. Um, however, I will need to find or make one uh, without the First Order logo on it, um, but that shouldn't be ultimately too hard. But, uh, so yeah, looking at all three of these, uh, flash speeders, I think they look pretty cool. Um, definitely represent, uh, their respective groups well. Um, I think that the Imperial flash speeder will contrast, uh, quite well with the Rebel flash speeder in this mock. And, um, I'm glad to show you guys uh this part um because this while not being an insignificant part of the mock um it will definitely be a smaller aspect to it uh and so i uh i look forward to showing you guys the uh rest in the future um and so, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and bye-bye.